You are a pirate and you want the treasure at the end of the sea. Desperately, there are three things you need. First is a map, but not just any map, a highly detailed map. When you start sailing in the wild seas, people are going to deceive you. You'll get lost and give up before even trying. What you need to do is break down your goals into subtasks and set hard deadlines. Set goals that are slightly harder than what you expect to realistically achieve. Not what you can realistically achieve because even you don't know that yet. So even if you fail in reaching a subtask, you'll not feel disappointed because you already didn't expect to achieve it. And if you do reach the subtask, you'll exceed your expectations. So here's a secret map of web dev I just got from Alabasta. But keep it a secret. Three days for HTML, five days for CSS, three days for JavaScript language basics, three days for JavaScript libraries and features, three days to build a website with animations without any tutorial, one week to learn React.js basics, three days to build another website without any tutorial, one week to learn backend concepts, Node.js and MongoDB, one week to build a complete full stack application of your choice with without any tutorial, 2 days to learn TypeScript, 2 days to learn Next.js and finally a mega project as your boss battle. I'm giving you 4 hearts. Each heart provides you 24 hours of rest. If it exceeds a single minute more than 24 hours, you will lose another heart. If you lose all 4 hearts, you will have to start all over again. These durations aren't hard and fast. They depend on where you stand and what resources you use, so feel free to adjust them to your inconvenience. This brings me to the second step. Even with the world's best map, you are bound to fail if you don't have a good navigator, the right wind direction, a resilient ship or a bad crew. Look, there's an internal component and an external component to your performance. Both are equally important. When you pirate a video game, you might not even complete half of it. But when you actually buy a game or a skin in the game, your motivation to play it explodes. That's one major reason why I believe that you should invest in a good course. Secondly, while most of them do not offer a value-based advantage over YouTube tutorials, they still save a lot of your time and efforts that would go into expedition. And a good course is often better anyways. The third reason is that they give you a really good map. And before buying any course, just check their reviews on Reddit. But if you don't have the money, don't worry. I still got you. Take about $20 and deposit it in your friend's account. Tell them that if you fail to make your own website by the end of two weeks, they get to keep the money. Trust me, this works insanely well. So you got the map, you got a crew, but half the video is still remaining. There's one crucial aspect that you are still missing because of which I can guarantee that more than half of you will fail. The third component is internal commitment. Just imagine your favorite anime without the protagonist's internal conviction. They would give up in 10 episodes. In order to successfully pass the shallow waters, which means the really hard times, you need to make a commitment before you start sailing. And I'm not talking about commitment towards your goal, but towards not doing anything that doesn't help you accomplish that goal. You wake up one day and your brain is a rebel. You try for several minutes, but you just can't sit down and focus. So your mind whispers to you, we should do something productive instead of wasting time like this, like laundry, cleaning your room, talking to a relative, or might as well just have some fun instead because you can't get your brain to focus right now anyways. But this goes against the principle I just told you because none of these activities actually help you achieve your goal. So what I'm supposed to do man will just sit and do nothing? Exactly. Your brain has four options right now. Work, boredom, productivity, dopaminergic activity. This is what your mind wants you to do the most. This is what you want to do the most. You both despise boredom so your brain agrees on something in the middle. It whispers to you, hey we can just sit down and study, so might as well do something productive. And once that's complete, the only remaining option it gives you is dopamine. And it's so f***ing tempting that it's almost impossible for a normal human being to resist. Especially when the other option is boredom. But when you actually show up in the game, actively choose getting bored and doing nothing, your mind gets f***ed. It never expected this move from you. You tell it, okay, it's fine. If we cannot do the work right now, we'll just wait for 2 hours, 4 hours, 6 hours. Doesn't matter how much time it takes. Slowly as time passes, your mind panics. It cannot tolerate this feeling, this choice that you have made. Meanwhile, you are just chilling. Having no other option remaining, your mind eventually chooses to work. The main component here is pre-commitment. Not towards finishing your goals, but towards not doing anything that doesn't help you accomplish that goal. If your mind doesn't want to work, that's okay. We don't need to work. If you can't focus, no big deal. We're just going to sit here and do nothing for the next eight hours. And whenever you're ready to work, 
We can do that. But if you don't want to work, no big deal. It works incredibly well. Incredibly well. I did it myself. You probably expected some kind of cheat sheet or secret sauce to learn web development in just two months. But the truth is, I have shared those tactics with my friends and they still fail. These three steps are far more important than any of those cheap tricks to help you build consistency. After this, it's only a matter of time of when it clicks in your brain and you get addicted to programming. After that, it's a breeze. Thanks for watching, man bear.